Is OpenAI ready to go quantum? This article here is titled, Is OpenAI Opening Up to Quantum? And it begins as such here. This is from quantuminsider.com and it goes as such. With a new hire, subtle announcements, and an obvious need, experts are wondering if OpenAI is investigating the use of quantum to power its AI empire. The Register, for example, reported that artificial intelligence giant has recently acquired a new addition to his team. Ben Bartlett, a former quantum systems architect at Psi Quantum, the hire could be a hint that OpenAI might be steering towards a quantum future. According to the Register, Bartlett has a doctorate in applied physics from Stanford University, and his work primarily focuses on the designing scalable and fault tolerant photonic quantum computers. I think I have another article about photonic quantum computers somewhere here on the panel. It says, interestingly, his work has ventured into the realms of nanophotonics, quantum physics, and machine learning, aiming to harness the power of photons for complex computations. He also contributed to a patent to develop a scalable scheme for quantum computation in a synthetic time dimension using a single coherently controlled atom. If achievable, the work just might pave way for a new approach to quantum computing, where quantum op operations on an atomic qubit can be teleported onto photonic qubits. This is getting absolutely insane at this point. <laughs> Does it seem like for a long time, technologies, technological advancements were stalled and now we're just moving at light speed? Seems like that to me. This could potentially simplify the integration of quantum emitters into photonic circuits, according to the patent application. There's another connection between photonic quantum computing and open AI. Bear with me, it's a six degrees of Kevin Bacon type relationship. Bartlett worked for Psi Quantum. One of Psi Quantum's investors is M12, which is, a, is the venture arm of Microsoft. Of course, Microsoft is the main backer of open AI as well as contains considerable quantum resources. All right, so what do you think? You think OpenAI is ready to go quantum? Let's move on here because we have more activity. I'm giving you, giving you a multitude of articles today. A lot of good things happening. So let me click off this pop-up. So this article now is titled Abu Dhabi in talks to invest in OpenAI chip venture. Whoa, state-backed group. MGX is in discussions over ambitious plans by Sam Altman to build a semiconductor business. And you know, semiconductors are all the rage. You have this big tug of war going on between the United States and China um, right now over semiconductors. But let's read this a little tidbit here. It says, a new Abu Dhabi investment company is in talks to back OpenAI's ambitious chip venture and the latest effort by the United Arab Emirates to become a global power broker in the development of artificial intelligence, state-funded MGX is in early stage discussions over a funding deal with OpenAI, according to two people with knowledge of the discussions. U.S. startups chief executive Sam Altman is seeking to launch a semiconductor business to reduce its dependence on cutting edge chips by NVIDIA. It says estimates from Altman and others of the cost of building out an AI structure, AI infrastructure have varied from hundreds of billions of dollars to as high as $7 trillion over the coming years. Whoa! Such figures price out traditional technology venture capitalists, leading to the group to approach nation states. The Financial Times this month reported that OpenAI is holding or was holding talks with Singapore-backed Timasek over a funding deal. So OpenAI is making major moves. MGX, an AI-focused fund that launched this week, is chaired by the UAE's powerful national security advisor, Sheikh Tanun bin Zayed Al Nahan. The nation is betting its wealth, abundant energy resources, and the political backing of the autocratic state's leadership give it a head start in the race to become a global AI hub. And you know, they take everything serious over in the UAE. So now let's move on here. We have another, we have a lot of articles actually. I'm just gonna do a few here today. So now this article here is from deepmind.google and it's titled, A Generalist 
AI agent for 3D virtual environments, we present new research on a scalable, instructable multi-world agent, SEMA, that can follow natural language instructions to carry out tasks in a variety of video game settings. Video games are key, a key proving ground for artificial intelligence systems. Like the real world, games are rich learning environments with responsive, real-time settings and ever-changing goals. From our early work with Atari games through to our Alpha Star system that plays StarCraft II at human grandmaster level, Google DeepMind has a long history in AI and games. Today, we're announcing a new milestone, shifting our focus from individual games towards a general, instructable game-playing AI agent. In a new technical report, we introduce SEMA, so it's short for Scalable Instructable Multi-World Agent, a generalist AI agent for 3D virtual settings. We partner with game developers to train SEMA on a variety of video games. This research marks the first time an agent has demonstrated it can understand a broad range of, of gaming worlds and follow natural language instructions to carry out tasks within them as a human might. This work isn't about achieving high game scores. I wouldn't think so. Learning to play even one video game is a technical feat for an AI system, but learning to follow instructions in a variety of game settings could unlock more helpful AI agents for any environment. Our research shows how we can translate the capabilities of advanced AI models into useful real world actions through a language interface. We hope that SEMA and other agent research can use video games as sandboxes to better understand how AI systems can become more helpful. So that is very, very interesting. I thought where they went, were going to head is, I thought where they were going to say is that this, and I believe that this will go there, that this could be used to build games. If it can understand games, if it can play games, if it understands the textures, the layouts, then I don't think it'll be long before AI can build you basic video games. Or I don't know if that, maybe they have stuff like that now. That I mean like 3D games, um, you know, 3D, 3D games of a respectable level, not just 2D platformers. Um, maybe there's things like that already. I'm not aware of that. I'm not, a, I don't claim to know everything. I'm not a know-it-all. But I think that's where this will definitely be heading. And it will get more advanced rapidly. All right, so now let's move here. All right, so there was another article about open AI and photonics, but we're going to skip that one because it sort of repeats what the other article was talking about. So I wanted to cover this one a few days ago and I just didn't get a chance. We've been covering a lot that has to do with robotics and these robots that they're employing in certain uh, industries and factories. This one is titled Mercedes. Mercedes begins piloting aptronic humanoid robots. And I was saying something on my other channel about this. I don't know if people check this out. The world is about to dramatically change over the next two to three years. Dramatically. I've seen fully autonomous, um, robotic and AI uh, controlled ports, right? Ports where they're bringing in the big containers. They have the warehouses that they have no people in them now. They're just robotics. You have the, 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 the delivery trucks that have no people in them. The things are changing right before people's eyes. I don't. I just don't know if they are, they're ready for it or if they see. But this article goes as such. Pilot season has officially begun for the world of humanoid robotics. Last year, Amazon began testing Agility's Digit Robots in select fulfillment centers, while this January figure announced a deal with BMW. Now, Aptronic is getting in on action, courtesy of partnership with Mercedes-Benz. According to the Austin-based robotic startup, quote, as part of the agreement, Aptronic and Mercedes-Benz will collaborate on identifying applications for highly advanced robotics in Mercedes-Benz manufacturing, unquote. Specific figures have not been disclosed, as is customary of these sorts of deals. Generally, the, the actual number of systems include a pilot, included in a pilot are fairly small, understandably so, given the nature of the technology. Even so, these deals are regarded as a win-win for both parties. Aptronic can demonstrate clear interest from a leading automotive name, while Mercedes signals to customers and shareholders alike that is looking to the future. What comes next is what really matters. Should the pilot go well, causing the automaker to put in a big order, that would be a massive feather in Aptronic's cap, 
and the industry at large. Humanoids have been drawing massive investor interest as of late, as evidenced by figures recent jaw-dropping $675 million raise. We cover that. The next couple of years will be vitally important for the continued success of these firms as they look to prove prove out meaningful ROI. So <laughs> there is a lot happening. It's been fun to cover. I'll tell you that much. Um, it's exciting times. So now that you have that information, everyone, what are you going to do with it? And until next time, take care.